friends, my name is Gabrielle, and welcome from your streets. And yes, I still do have my Halloween decorations up in the background because I refuse to believe that it's not Halloween time. So, today we are going to talk about the most anticipated releases of November 2017. Now, there are actually a ton of books coming out in November. Um, I feel like all the authors kind of timed it together at some secret meeting that we didn't know about and just decided to all release their books at the same time. I'm going to tell you my top five favorite book releases coming up this month, along with one that I cannot believe is actually being released again. So, we'll get to that one in a minute though. First things first, my most anticipated book release on probably this entire list is going to be Artemis by Andy Weir. Now this book I've already pre-ordered on Audible. So basically Artemis takes her place around the main character Jazz and she is kind of a smuggler of sorts on the first colony on the moon and she kind of as she's taking on the newest smuggling job she realizes that there's this whole political corruption happening that she did not know about and she's somehow stuck in. So and as a bonus this book is also narrated by Rosario Dawson and I'm just really excited to hear her narrate it. I think it's going to be amazing. The second book I'm anticipating the most in November 2017 is Renegades by Marissa Mayer. Now this is for all of you who are fans of the X-Men or any kind of other DC's Marvel superhero. Um, the Renegades basically is a group of human prodigies who have these supernatural abilities and they have kind of established peace and order where there used to be a ton of chaos because social civilization kind of collapsed as we knew it. Nova is our main character and she hates the renegades. She is on this mission of vengeance and while she's on it she meets one of the renegades themselves who really believes in the cause and while she's on this mission she meets one of the renegades Adrian who has this really strong sense of justice and they're kind of caught at these opposing ends of this war that they didn't realize was being happening so I love Marissa Meyer's writing I haven't really read much beyond the Lunar Chronicles but I'm really excited for this book because it sounds like it's kind of her returning to her roots while also making something up that's also new and fantastical and that we're probably all gonna fall in love with all right the next book I'm really excited for is Bonfire by Kristen Ritter so Bonfire is kind of like a crime thriller novel and it's basically about our main character is Abby Williams who is an environmentalist lawyer who realizes that upon a visit from her hometown, she cannot always escape the past behind her. I'm really excited about this because I feel like Kristen Ritter has a lot of talent and usually I am kind of hesitant when it comes to people who kind of jump between acting and writing uh, because there's not always a translation there but this one I feel like it's gonna be really good. I've heard a lot of really good reviews from people who have gotten arcs of this book so I cannot wait to read this book. Now the second to last book that I'm really excited for this upcoming month is The Becoming of Noah Shaw by Michelle Hodkin. Now this is kind of a Mara Dyer spinoff and recently I, became, I finally finished the Mara Dyer series and it was really good and I was surprised by how much I liked it so when I heard that there was going to be kind of a spin-off of the story I really wanted to read it um, this is gonna be taking place all around Noah Shaw um, and just kind of how they thought the nightmare had ended and yet it's still continuing the last book that I'm really excited to read this month is this mortal coil by Emily Suvada. This is a sci-fi book about a hacker named Katrina who hacks into people via a genetic chip that they have had implanted to help recode someone's DNA. So it sounds really interesting, sounds very sci-fi, and I've been really getting into sci-fi lately, so I can't wait to read this book. And now for the infamous book that I can't believe this series is continuing. I might upload like a rant later because I just, I'm so mad. And I don't have a right to be mad. Like, honestly, it's not that big of a deal, but it just, it irritates me. It irritates me that this, out of everything else that's being published in the world, is what keeps continuing and living on. Um, and apparently, the second edition of this, apparently, the Fifty Shades of Grey series is going to have another edition in terms of Darker, um, which is Christian Grey's perspective of Fifty Shades Darker, which, okay, yeah, like, just, just... Can we get a little bit more originality of the titles? Like we all understand about the shades and the darkness and there are already so many jokes that have been happening. Like, can we just get a little bit different? Like, yeah, it goes with the theme, but oh my God, I can't, like you're taking words that I use in everyday scenarios and just also ruining them for me. 
So there's that. Uh, so yeah, so that's a fun one to end on. But yeah, so those are the books that I'm really excited for to come out this month. I would love to know what you guys are excited to read or listen to this month. Um, please let me know down in the comments below if you guys agree, have any other books I should check out, and just in general have any thoughts or opinions on this video. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I upload bookish videos twice a week as well as reaction videos whenever something cool comes out that I want to react to. But that's all I have for you guys today. So thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Okay, bye.